Hey guys, and thank you for joining my YouTube channel again, Chestless Inc., my new Rama Beautiful, where we find beauty within our battles. And like I mentioned to you last time in my last video, that today I am going to be talking to you about some fabulous wigs that I have been rocking for years when I was going through breast cancer and that I still wear today. So stay tuned. <music> Okay, so before I get started, you know, I always got to show off my jewelry or something that I just love. And today I am showing off and rocking my Flintstone jewelry, which is fabulous with my jean shirt. And you see these earrings? Look at that. Can you see that? Look how nice. You can just rock this with something white, some jeans or whatever the case may be. But I love different types of jewelry and I am going to be sharing a link down in the description where you will be able to get some of this beautiful jewelry and you'll be able to get it at a discount so make sure you check the link below okay guys so let's get started now one of the wigs that I love wearing is the one that I'm currently wearing. Her name is Ina. I'm going to tell you two locations that you can get fabulous wigs from for a little bit of nothing. Um, here is a picture of when my hair started to grow back after my chemo treatments. But before that, I was wearing wigs because I was completely bald after I had my chemo and my hair fell out. So I started to look online. Some of the wigs that they were offering at the hospitals were so expensive and just didn't fit my style. So I started doing my research and I got online and I found two locations. One is called Wig Types. I have been using wig types for years and I have never, it's an online where you order your wigs online. I have never had a problem with them. It's been over 10 years. I have never had a problem with shipment. I have never had a problem with delivery. There's so many different wigs that you can pick and choose from, different colors, different styles, and the price is amazing. You can get some wonderful wigs for a little of, of, of for hardly any money i mean and then they have sales they have discounts but wig type is it's called wig types it's one of my favorite and there will be a link in the description below where you can go and have a look at some fabulous wigs the other link that i use um and i don't use this one as often but it's called hair sisters and it's a little bit like wig types but hair sister is slightly more expensive not still not a lot of money but it costs a little bit more than wig types and once again i've never had a problem with hair sisters it's between those two that i use but wig type is the one that i just love and i've been using for wigs now this current wig that i am wearing her name is ina let me show you this girl her name is Ina, and Ina comes in so many different colors. Um, her The color that I'm wearing is DR27, and you can see that it's dark at the top, and then you get these highlights that come in. But I just I used to wear a lot of black wigs, um, and this 1B is off black wig. And I just wanted to do something a little different and add a little color. And once I started putting this wig on, I get so many compliments. So don't be afraid to try different styles. Don't be afraid, as you can see in some of the pictures, the different styles that I have been wearing. Don't be afraid to wear long, short, just find some styles that you like, try them on, see if you like them and go from there. But this one is fabulous. The texture feels really good. There is a little bit of shading, um, shredding, shading, huh? shredding. Um, there is a little bit of shredding that comes with this, but you got to think the wig, this one is very popular. And it is very popular because this wig costs between $13 to eighteen dollars um i have seen it one time at 21 dollars but this you have a little bit of lace in the front that you cut off but um look at the things you can do with this you can pull it up 
like I usually do sometimes. You can pull it in a ponytail bag. You can just wear it on the side. You can just do so many things with it. And it just, it looks, you know, it looks beautiful. And the texture, like I said, feels really, really good. It lasts a while. Um, and I just love it. It comes in different colors. Um, some, and it comes curly. You can um, flat iron it if you want to and make it straight with the low temperature. You can also curl it more if you want to. And I love what this is a synthetic. This is not human. The reason why I really like synthetic is because I sweat quite a bit. I have hot flashes. And when I wore a lot of the human hair, the curls would fall out. And I was did a lot of work with getting my hair together and then the curls would fall out because of the heat or because the humidity or whatever the case may be. But this is a synthetic um, hair that you can curl on a low temperature or um, you can flat iron it. Now this next one is called Courtney. This is what Courtney looks like. I know the word is backwards because I'm in this camera, but just to give you a look at this is a straight lace front and look at that. Look, I think it's about 21 inches. It comes with three combs on the side. One is here, one is here, and then one is on the bottom with also a uh, this band to make it tighter or whatever. You get this lace that's already pre-plucked uh, for your part, so you don't have to worry about your part there. Um, and then you also have this lace that you cut off that uh, that's already, um, you just cut it and then it already has the baby hair already pre-plucked for you. And you have your baby hair plucked. And this is just a straight wig that you can rock and wear. Um, make it, if you want to curl it, put some curls in it or whatever the case may be. But it feels good. I mean, it, the texture, and it's thick enough. It's not too thick that it's too much hair. I mean, it's not too light that it's not enough hair. I'm also going to share with you what I do to make this lace here. The, you see how you get the little, um, you can tell that it's a lace front. There is a tape that you can use to put on um, this lace right here and it will look just like your scalp. I don't have it in front of me right now, but I will be showing you um, shortly how you do it. So stay tuned because this is amazing and you just um, put it on the lace front and it looks just like your scalp. So check this out guys. Women are so doggone creative when it comes to their hair. We do not play when it comes to our hair, our clothes, our makeup, and we get creative. And one of the creations that I found on YouTube was this stuff called House Ables. It's a medical grade silicone tape. It's amazing. You use, and this is what it looks like, um, comes in this little band right here. See how it looks like a little bit of skin? You can barely tell, but it's this uh, thing on the back, this like adhesive thing on the back. But you just cut a little bit of this off, um, like I thought I did. Can't find a little piece that I cut off, so I'm just gonna pull this back like this. So you have this, it pulls from the adhesive thing here. I don't know what it is, so. But look, you can even rip some off. What? <laughs> you know what? I didn't even know that. I was cutting mine, make, wasting all this time. So anyway, you take this here and the sticky part, you just stick it on the back right here where your part is or where your lace is. You stick it right here on the back. Press it down really good. and it stays. And then when you put this thing on, I can't really show you in this, um, let me brush it a little bit, this video because of my lighting, but the little um, dots and stuff that you see usually with the lace, you no longer see. It really looks like your scalp. 
right i mean it i just tried using this you guys about i say about a week and a half ago and it, i was looking for something to fill in these gaps because you know how we use the powder and we put powder in our little parts and stuff and it still kind of looks like a lace you can see the lace but this adhesive tape medical tape it's amazing you just tape it up there and it really looks like your scalp so make sure you try it because it's fabulous and if you still want to put a little powder on your part or whatever the case may be go ahead and do it i don't care what you do as long as you look fabulous and beautiful while you are rocking your what your wigs just like i rock my wigs okay so once again you want to try wig types as one link to get some wigs some great reasonable wigs all types of styles and you want to try hair sisters to get some wonderful really reasonable style wigs i don't say cheap they are just cheaper than some of the expensive wigs because these wigs do not look cheap these wigs look fabulous i'm telling you i get so many compliments on the wigs that i wear and people think that i spent a lot of money and i do not because you don't have to now if you want to by all means knock yourself out but if you don't have to don't do it and still look fabulous all right so i hope today this inspired you encouraged you and gave you a little some tips for you to go on and be able to look fabulous to be able to use some of this stuff so that you can rock some of these wigs too and i want you to stay tuned for my next videos because i'm going to be talking about the makeup i wear the lashes i'm going to be talking about some of the lipstick skin care that i use um, not just when I was having was going through breast cancer, but what I still use today. Okay, so stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you will know about my new videos coming up and so that you can be informed and on top of when I post. Okay, and make sure you use and you uh, make some comments. I can't even talk. It's because I'm hungry, y'all. You know black folks when they get hungry. Oh, Lord, I have to hurry up and go give me something to eat. But look, do me a favor and make some comments. Let me know what you think about some of these videos or even some of the things that you like me to talk about. I'm going to be talking about some more things. I wanted to um, get some breast cancer things out the way. But, honey, I'm going to be talking about adultery. I'm going to be talking about molestation. I'm going to be talking about a lot of things. So stay tuned. And all of these things are to encourage you and inspire you to be a better you just like I have become a better me. All right? Thanks again and see you next time.